Hey guys, Brennan here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a highly requested tutorial for merry-go-round of life from Hal's Moving Castle. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do new videos every week and I appreciate every single one of you who watches my videos. And with that, let's get right into the video. Before we get into learning this song, I'm just going to play through what you're going to learn in today's video. Okay guys, so before we get into learning the piano piece today, I did want to go over the pedal for this song. So you are going to need to use the piano pedal. If you have a keyboard and it doesn't have a pedal, I do have some recommendations, some good ones you can get off Amazon, so I will link those in the description box below. Basically what the pedal does is it drags out the sound. So instead of sounding like this, it goes. If you don't lift off the pedal and push back down, it will make the sounds all blend together. So for this song, whenever you move uh, chords in the left hand is when you switch the pedal. So let's take the first chord, for instance. So between these two, I push down on the pedal. Now, when I go to switch, I lift off and push back down right as I'm starting the next one. But just know that for this entire song, whenever you are changing the parts in the left hand, right? So you're going from this, then you change it. That's when you lift and push back down on the pedal. If you have any questions on that, let me know in the comments below. And I also have a video that goes into this a little more, so I'll link that. Okay, so the very first part you do is gonna be up here. So you're gonna go back and forth with two fingers in each hand. So I'm gonna show you the first one. You're gonna have in your left hand, your pointer finger on B flat, and you're gonna jump up to C. So it's gonna be like this. And in the right hand, you're gonna have your thumb on D, and you're pointing your finger on D sharp, and you're gonna go like this. Except that it's gonna be at the same time. So it's gonna be like this. So starting on these. Okay, now the second formation is you're gonna have your thumbs here on A and C. And then you're gonna move up in the left hand to B flat and up in the right hand to D. So it's gonna be like this. Try that with me. So now let's put both together. Remember this is your formation here. Now you move. Okay, now you move again. So the two that you're gonna hit are gonna be these. Point your finger on G. Thumb on B flat. And you're gonna move up in the left hand to A, and you're gonna move up in the right hand to C. So you're skipping this B the whole time. So it's gonna be like this. So you do this one. And then instead of going back down, you play this chord here. So that's D, F sharp, A. So it goes like this. So all 
together full speed, it should sound like this. Then you're gonna do something really fancy called an arpeggio. And what this means is instead of playing a chord, which is a group of notes at the same time, like this, an arpeggio is when it's called a broken chord. So you're playing each one on its own. So you might have heard this in songs when it's really fancy and a person's going. That whole time you're just playing these three keys all up and down the piano. Very cool trick. So you're going to take these three keys, which is D, F sharp, and A. And instead of playing them like a chord at the same time, you're going to play them like a broken chord, except that you're going to find it all up and down the piano. So this might take a little bit of practice, but see down here, that's a D chord. That's a D chord. That's D. So now instead of playing them all together, after you find them all over the piano, you're going to then separate them and hold down the pedal. So you have to remember to cross your hands through, but in this song you do an arpeggio. So you find the D chord all up and down the piano, which may take a bit of practice, and then you separate them. And you make it sound really fluid, so it's like this. Okay? So all together that's going to sound like this. Now we're going to get into the next part. Okay, we're going to start with learning the right hand before we get into the left hand here. So you're going to start with your thumb here on D and you're going to go. So you're going to go D, G, B flat. So D, G with your pointer finger and B flat with your middle finger. Then you're going to do a little roll. So it's going to be like this. You're going to have your hands ready on the position. Your pinky is going to end on D and it's going to roll like this. So it's going to be. So all together, that's like this. If you're having trouble with a roll, just skip it and play D alone. So it'd be like this. Okay, now we're going to move on to the next part. You stay on D and you go. And you go D, C, skip B here and go to B flat, A, B flat. To go over that part again, do it with me here. Pinky starting on D. D, C, B flat, A, B flat. So let's put all that together from the top. Okay. Then you're going to go G, B flat, D. Then you're going to do another roll. So it's going to, the roll is going to be G, B flat, D, G with your pinky. So all together, it's going to sound like this. One more time. Remember to just roll it really quickly. Like. All right. So let's put these two parts together from the top, starting on D. So the next part, when you go to G, it has to be pretty quickly. So it's going to be like, so try that with me really quick. Okay. Let's put both parts together again. Okay. Now 
we're going to learn the next section. You stay on G and you go. So that's G twice, F, D sharp, F. One more time. So now let's try it all together. And you do a little pause here, then you go. All right, now we're gonna learn the next part. So then your thumb goes down here to A, and you go A, D, F, and then we do another roll. So that's A, D, F, and the roll is gonna be A, D, F, a with your pinky. So it's gonna be like this. So that's A, D, F, A with your pinky. So just to go over that part, it's. Try it with me. And again, if, you, if it, you're finding it hard to do the roll, just skip it and play A alone. So it'd be like this. All right. So now let's put the whole part together so far. Remember to go to A. All right, now we're gonna learn the last little bit here. So you stay up in this area. So after you do the roll, now you go down to G, F, E, F, G. It's a little tricky, so let's go over it again. You do the roll. G, F, E, F, G. Try it with me. Now you go back down to F, E, then you go, and that's when your thumb needs to cross over. So let's go over this part again. G, F, E, F, G, F, E, D, cross over to C, and then we're gonna learn the next part, okay? So after you cross over to C, your pointer finger needs to go to B flat, and it's gonna be like this. This is a little tricky, but it makes sense to play it all together, so I'm gonna show you what I mean. So after you cross over, you go to C, B flat, C, D, C, skip down to G, A, so watch me do the whole part nice and slow. Really tricky. Probably the hardest part in the right hand thus far. So watch me play it again one more time. Last section here. One more time. Now the next part, I'm just gonna say all the notes that I'm hitting, okay? G, F, E, F. G, F, E, D, C, B flat, C, D, C, G, A. Again, it's very confusing, so I'll play it really slow here. So 
now let's, let's put this whole right hand part together and then we're going to break down how to learn the left hand. So from the top, remember to have your hand on position here at D. Okay, now we're going to learn the left hand. I am going to let you know that this is very tricky in the left hand and it will take a lot of practice to get this down perfectly. So if you're having trouble with it, do not worry. This song does take a lot of practice and it took me a lot to practice it before I was able to teach it to you all. So just keep that in mind with this next part because you're going to be doing a lot of changes in the left hand at the same time as the right hand and the timing is a little tricky. You're going to be doing a jump here. And you're going to start with your pinky down here low on C. And then you're going to jump up to these three keys. You're going to have your pinky on D sharp, pointer finger on B flat, and thumb on D. So it's going to be like this. These three keys. So practice jumping. The hardest part about this is your hands have to already be knowing where to hit or else you're going to hit the wrong keys. So as soon as you jump, right in position. Okay? And you're going to be doing a lot of that in the left hand. A good thing to keep in mind is people call it muscle memory. It's like your hands remember exactly where to go. So just know that you have to be in this formation, okay? After you do this one, you're going to be doing another jump and you're going to have your pinky here on D. And now the three you play up here are going to be F sharp, C, D sharp. So that's going to be practice that. So all together, let's put these two. So it's a lot of shifting in the left hand. So just make sure to practice this a bunch. So lastly, you go to G and then you jump up here to F, B flat and D. So practice that. So F, B flat, D. So let's put all three of these together now. Starting at C. Okay. Now the next part is you stay up here. Now your fourth finger goes to G. And then you hit these three keys, which is A, B flat, D. So it's like this. It's a little hard. So try that last little progression here, starting on G. Remember, G, these three. So let's put it all together. Starting on C. Up to D. G. Now G up here. Okay. Then you go back to C, but then this part and the jump is different. Very confusing. So it's going to be this on the second round. C. Then you jump all the way up 
to these three keys. So it's going to be G, B flat, D sharp. So that's G, B flat, D sharp, all together. So try that with C. Try it again. Okay, so then after you do that one, you go to F, and then you play these two up top, C and D sharp. So that's C and D sharp. So try both of those together. C, different formation. F. Next, you go to your pinky on B flat. Then you jump up to F, A, D. And you play those three together. So that's. And then lastly, in this little section, then you do A, and then you jump all the way up here to A and D. I know this is a lot in the left hand, but you just kind of got to do it over and over and eventually you'll memorize it. Okay, almost done here, guys. Then after you do this one, then you go to D, and then you hit A and D. So next you go to E, and you jump up to these two. So E, that's B flat and D. Then you go A, play A and C sharp. Then you go D and you press A and D in this part. Then after D you go down to A and then you hit E and A. So try all that together. down to D with these two, then A with these two. One more time. Now D, now A. Next you go B and you hit these two, F and B flat. So that's next you jump all the way down to E and you press E and G and very lastly you go D and you press D F sharp A so let's go over that last section all together so you have E with these two A with these two A with these two. Now you go up to B flat with these two. Down to E with these two. And end on D. One more time. tricky. So all together, I'm going to go through the left hand, what we learned thus far. Okay. From the very beginning.
so now we're going to put both hands together and bear with me here because this is very tricky to get the hang of. So feel free to go over this video multiple times just to really get it down. But I'm just going to, essentially what I'm going to do to teach you this part is just slow down both hands together and show you the timing for it. Okay. So try and play along with me here. We're going to start from the very beginning of this section. Okay. So you come in on the left hand generally when you're doing the roll in the right hand. So I'll show you an example. Here we go. Switch to D. Now G. Then you do this part. Okay, so let's go over that part again. and slow one more time. Then you go. See? Different formation. F. Now to B. Nice and slow. One more time, nice and slow. I won't talk any just so you can follow along with my video. Okay, so now we're going to put the last little bit together. So after you go like this, in the right hand, you're going to play this key. And then you go all the way up here to E, C, B flat, E. So it's like this. So it's... E, C, B flat, A. So all together, we're ending here and it goes. Then you go. So first you're playing this. All you do is move down to D. Then you go back up here. Now, remember at the beginning when we learned the arpeggio? 
It actually is the same, except very slightly different, and you're going down the keyboard. So it's like this. So it's cross your finger over. Remember, to it was these three keys. The only difference is you're going to add in this key. So it's going to be these four keys all over the piano. And I know this is a little tricky, but it does make it sound really freaking cool. So it's... Remember, because you're adding this in. Okay, so that's going to take a little bit of practice, but just remember, you're only hitting on the keys. So it repeats. A, F sharp, D, C, A, F sharp, D, C, A, F sharp, D, C, all down the piano. And you hold the pedal down and it flows all together. So you just need to have your hands ready on this formation. A, F sharp, D, C. So it goes like this, just this last little part, just to go over it again. So right when you end that other section, you go. So after that, you flow right into the arpeggio. Okay, so let's go over that one more time, and then you guys got the full part in today's tutorial. Okay. I do it with one hand. You can do it with two hands. It doesn't matter as long as you hit those four keys that I talked about. Okay? So just to play the last little part, I'll show you how it flows together. somewhere near here it doesn't matter which key you end on you just kind of fade out okay okay guys feel free to pause that and practice it on your own if you have any questions at all definitely let me know in the comments below and I'll try and help but don't be too hard on yourself because this is a really really difficult song and even I have trouble remembering how many times I change in the left hand and I've been practicing this for like multiple days so again don't be too hard on yourself and let me know if you have questions in the comments below. All right, guys, and that is all we're gonna learn in today's video. If you would like to see the full entire tutorial for the full song, let me know in the comments below and I may do a second video just expanding on the rest of the song. But that is about the first minute of this song that you guys learned today. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton, and I really appreciate all of you who learned something from my videos. I will see you next time. Thank you.